one of the one of the one of ten families. Us. That's the luckiest thing that's ever happened to us. So we're like, okay, let's do this. Then the process, could you not, took three and a half years. Three and a half years of doing interviews, vetting us out, like trying to really see that we don't, like we're not connected to some like sketchy thing. Blah, blah, blah. So we checked out. <laughs> Clear. So then um, they're like, okay, this is the last interview you guys are going to do. And like the interviews were like, three hours away from like where we lived in egypt so they would have to drive to it all the time i'm like gonna drive the whole family at 6 a.m anyway so we go and they said all right we're gonna go and we're gonna buy you guys the plane tickets and blah blah, blah. and then we're like okay but here's the thing they bring you here they buy you the plane tickets but but um after you come here they also pay rent for the house they they put you in or like the apartment they put you in, they pay for the rent for the first three months. And after that, you're on your own. You got to do what you got to do. You're on your own. Okay. And then remember those plane tickets that they bought us to come here? You have to pay that off as well. Like it's not, nothing is for free. But like they give you time and they give you a chance to like, you know, pay it back and blah, blah, blah. So we had to do that. And then also another condition is that after we moved here, we cannot leave the country for five years until we become citizens. So we come here, we're trapped here. خلاص. We can't leave to any other country until we become citizens or get the permanent or the temporary, whatever, green card. And yeah, it took us like five years. And yeah, and you have to pay it off. And then like also after three, literally the second month after we moved here, my dad fell and he broke his shoulder. And like it was, he literally could not move it for like, two years like it was Khalas. and he was the only working person in our family that could actually like you know work and provide for us <laughs> and my brother was like what 17 so we're like oh crap like we're literally effed up but we're, we're cool we're cool we're chilling just trust me you'll be fine fine <laughs> do I just think you speak the accent or is there so many times you don't have it uh, at first, uh, for the longest time, I had the accent. I still have somewhat, like, a slight accent when I say some things, but it's really not that bad. Amira, what's up? Uh, my opinion about Putin? He's a war criminal. But, yeah. So, they basically bring you here, and they're like, all right. Also, when you first come here, like, they act like you just came from um from a dumpster okay they pump you up with shots also like i get it because like we probably we didn't get shots for like the past like <laughs> like what seven eight nine years so like they pump you up with shots they put you on all these things it's just and the paperwork is crazy interviews are crazy Do I have family? No, I'm alone. I don't have family. I was born like this. I'm just kidding. I have family, of course. Yeah. Same thing happened to a lot of people. Um, a flood is in like 25 minutes. Did I face any discrimination in Egypt? Actually, it is the least country that we face discrimination in. Like, Egyptians, they love Syrians. To the point where it kind of gets weird most times, not gonna lie to you. But they love Syrians. But it's also, like, just an appearance thing. Like, they think they're very attractive. That's why they treat them very, like, nicely. But here and there, casually, we would get, Oh, you refugees, get out, get out of here, go back to your... But, like, that's very, very, like, rare. But then, like, what Syrian doesn't hear that? <laughs> they all hear that. But on, like, mostly, what's it called? Egyptians were very, very nice. Like, we loved, loved Egyptians. They treated us so nicely, Anjad.
If I tell you the most racist out of country, towards who? Towards, like, in general? If this is going well, I actually don't feel it. <laughs> Sorry, I just found it, and I need to brush my eyebrows. I don't know if you could tell, but they're really, like, not on fleek today. It's clean, guys. It hasn't been in my mouth. I actually did. I did. I do invest in crypto. Okay, so I have invested in OGN, and I have invested on ONG in ONG, and I have invested in um, Dodge. I have invested in um, Shiba. I don't know if you guys know stocks and stuff like that, but I've invested in these four coins. So far, so good. Shiba equals stocks. Yeah, it's it's like a it's a coin. Or a company or whatever. I don't have that fit. Del BC of course. No, it's not complicated. You know what's embarrassing? Like when someone asks me about Syria and I'm like, or like they ask like, oh, like what, what's wrong with Syria? Like what's happening in Syria? I'm sorry, that is the, the corniest question ever because no way it's been 13 years and you have no idea. Like the least you can do is just know what's happening. You know, when someone asks me that, I'm like, like, you know, like, you're so corny. That's so ugly. Don't, don't do that. <sighs> what type of Muslim are you? <laughs> there's a bunch of misinformation. Absolutely, there's a lot of misinformation out there. But, like, literally the quickest search... We'll give you like an unbiased, an unbiased view of what's happening in Syria. Oh, like millions, millions. Thank you, Ilhan. Who's James Spader? Spader? <laughs> but yeah. Egyptian accent? Oh, the only key. Broke the gem. <laughs> the actor in I love the blacklist I watched the entire show I mean the entire all the seasons of the blacklist and there's no way they killed Elizabeth Elizabeth um, Keen no way I have a I have one um, my uncle lives, well, he's dead, but, like, his kids and his wife, they live in Jordan. Raymond Reddington is that guy. Oh, it is. It's James. Okay, Raymond. Re I love Raymond Reddington. I don't care what y'all say, if he's evil or not. Like, I just love him. He is, he is, he's like, I love his vocabulary. Like, I want to talk like him so badly. His vocabulary is insane. Also, he never answers a question, which, like, I really like that. Like, he, like, knows how to, like, spin around. And, like, I, I love that. I wish that was me. I always answer directly. If this is me, uh, we were just watching an episode yesterday with my brother. 
So you're hiding bombs in the car's trunk? Oh my god, you're so cool. You're so funny. Watch out. I do something. I lowkey, I don't know, never mind. I can't say that. Sometimes you have to hold yourself back because, like, you can't say that, bro. You can't say that. When you're visiting Karbala again, I've never been to Karbala, never been.